On this episode of Full Bore, Brian Fuller and Mark Prosser discuss tips for tungsten. Oh man, how cool is that, Prosser? You're cool. welding. I'm watching through my helmet, and these guys have a split screen where they can see through the visible welding camera, you can see the actual weld. Now, this is new technology that we've discovered, Prosser has discovered, and it's cool, man. You can get in there and actually see the weld. It's gonna really help us show you what's going on underneath the cut. It's a great training tool. So today on Full Bore, what we're gonna show you is tungsten. So last year, Prosser comes in, he goes, all right, Fuller, let me tell you, man, the gold lanthanated tungsten, that is the one you want. Use it for AC, <laughs> use it for aluminum, use it for silicon bronze, stainless steel, works for everything. Now we got purple. Purple. Hey. <laughs> Man, it changes fast. They get better. They keep getting better. So what I want to show you today with this cool camera is just how the difference of the, how you configure your tip on your tungsten makes on the arc. Yep, so first thing we're gonna do is show you how to grind your tungsten. This is your classic grind. Straight up and down, linear. Put it up into your grinder here. Whoop. Make a little pencil. Man, that's complicated, right? You don't want to go this way. Nope. So we got a sharp tip on our arc. I'm just gonna fire up the arc here for a second. We're gonna we're gonna show you with the weld camera the difference, and I just want you to pay attention to the arc and how, how the arc actually looks. Check it out. So you notice. It's a little bit more of a fan, a little bit more of a bell shape, and that's with a perfectly sharpened tungsten. You know, that's even more visible than, you know, with your eye. When you're looking through the helmet, what you can see in that camera is actually even better than what you can see, you know, with the camera works better than your eye. I know, and I can't believe we haven't figured this out before. Huh? Maybe we need a computer screen in here. I don't know if this is old, old technology. We just learned it the other day. So this tungsten, I sharpened it, but I knocked the tip off at about halfway, so it's a blunted end, and it turns into a lot more of a column, the arc does. Check it out. Huh, how about that? Isn't that funny? That's pretty crazy. Now, no one's ever told me that you were supposed to blunt the top off. They say, in the old days, they would say, okay, you ball the end. Sure. We don't ball them anymore. There's no need for that. Well, it helps you on certain joints, certain weld joints, like a fillet welder, a T-joint. It takes that arc and it brings it down, it drives down into the root of that weld better. Which would work on thicker metals. Thicker metals. Now, if you're gonna be working with thinner metals, which is what we're normally doing, the point still works great. So, just to reiterate, the more of a sharp point that you have, the more it's actually gonna fan. I know, it sounds counterintuitive. If you blunt it off, you can see that it actually makes a more focused beam of it light. Does. Better for a fillet, better for heavier metals when you really want to get in there and penetrate. Yeah, man. Awesome. That was a good demo. For more information, check out lincolnelectric.com or fullermoto.com or these great publications. Full bore welding, full bore sheet metal, and the new ARC magazine. Also, big thanks to our sponsors, Lincoln Electric, Jet Tools, Industrial Depot, and ARP Fasteners.